Hello Taurus, this is your reading for April 2019. It's for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming and showing up and checking me out. Let's see. Please show me messages for Taurus in love for April 2019. We're going to do a Celtic cross, guys. Face down. Taurus. Please show me messages for Taurus. Let's see the energies around you guys. What's challenging you? Underlying issue. Recent past. Best possible outcome here. This is what you guys would like to see happen in the situation as well. Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. How you're actually viewing this situation currently. What's influencing the situation? Your hopes or fears will come next. And the overall outcome here. All right, guys. Hang on one second. Let me take off this sweatshirt that I have on because I am about to catch a blaze. Hang on, guys. All right. So the energy that's going on around you guys currently is the Eight of Swords there. Guys are feeling very um, trapped in your head. Okay, um, I feel there's a very hurtful situation here. You know, you 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 were trying to guard your heart in a situation. Is what I'm getting. Okay, and you know there was there was a situation that was very explosive for you guys. I feel. Okay one where you felt like your hands were tied and you had no other choice but to like react a certain way okay definitely I almost felt like you were having to like fight for your life in a sense you know not not like you were going to die but it was like um, you felt like your back was against the wall here and that's how I'm, I'm feeling that you guys are currently feeling it's like you're replaying something over and over and over in your head okay what's challenging you is to find some peace to find some peace here Okay, to find some harmony in your life is what's challenging you right now. Could be a Sagittarius um, energy or even a Gemini here. Gemini Sagittarius is um, is um, their opposite sign. So maybe this is like you know you guys your north and your south node even. Okay, but you know there's definitely a challenge for you to find. Um, you know a level playing ground here to find some balance and harmony to basically you know release yourself from this mental anguish okay now the underlying issue in the situation is the nine of pentacles okay i'm feeling that you know right now you guys are really not happy as a single individual there's there's a lot I feel that you almost feel trapped um, in a situation that you thought you wanted to be in. Feeling trapped. Okay. Some of you may have wanted to be single before. Maybe that was something that happened here in this situation. It's got you feeling trapped. Um, like you were forced to, you know, be in a single state forced to do certain things but I don't get that this is a happy state that you're in right now as a single individual I feel like um, there's a relationship here that you guys are really basically grieving here okay let's see what was going on in the past for you guys Virgo energy ten of cups ten of cups 
there was a happy relationship I feel like for you guys that ended. happy relationship, I feel like, a home um, situation even that ended for you guys here with this Ten of Cups in the recent past. Okay, you were happy before. Let's see how you're viewing this situation currently here. The Page of Wands. You, you want to unstick yourself. You want to release yourself. Um, you want to do something new here. You want to experience new things, I'm feeling. Okay? You want to be more active. You want to stop thinking about this. I'm feeling that a lot of you guys are interested in something here. But it's, it's like wanting to start over because this, this is a page here. Okay? You're trying to figure out how to release yourself from, you know, thinking about things that happened in the past so very heavily. Now, the best possible outcome in this situation here is the Eight of Wands. Maybe there's something that you guys need to communicate to someone. Maybe you even need to travel to this individual, okay, to communicate this. There's some kind of change that you would like to see happen in this situation um some loving messages i feel like there's something that you guys want to act on like right now i'm feeling like you go back and forth in your head and you talk yourself out of acting on this situation okay which is entrapping you even more what's coming in for you guys is a six of wands there mm. I feel like you definitely will find some clarity here because that is what you're wanting. You're wanting to do something different than what you've been doing here with this Eight of Swords energy. You're looking for peace. Okay? And I'm feeling like this peace, this success, this victory is coming after some kind of change in this situation, some sort of cycle that you've been in here. I definitely see an accomplishment here. Okay, coming out of conflict within yourself, being recognized for your efforts. What's influencing this situation here is the strength. Okay, fighting those urges, fighting, fighting, you know, the feeling of wanting to constantly just sit and think about, um, think about things. Basically bouncing stuff off of yourself, not off of anyone else, because I don't, I don't feel you talking to anyone currently. I feel this is all you thinking. This is all you thinking. I'm getting that you guys will, you know, find a resolve in this situation. Change up some things. Communicate if you haven't been communicating here. Okay. Your hopes or fears is a knight of swords you're hoping to be able to communicate and soon okay i'm feeling there's a lot that you want to say there's a lot that you want to say you're eager to say something here your hope is that you will have that chance i feel and that you will be heard you will be heard I think right now you guys are trying to find the strength um, to actually speak your peace because you're determined to release yourself from this prison and you know this. You know the only way to release yourself is by communicating what it is that you want to say here and soon. Okay? The overall here is the Queen of Cups. I feel there is, you guys have a lot of love in you, and I definitely get that um, there is somebody that you care deeply for, and I feel that this person cares deeply for you, but with this Queen of Cups, I don't know if you guys can see, but 
she has a cup in her hand, but she has her hand covering the top of it. Okay, she do she doesn't want it to just spill over. She doesn't want to just share it with anyone. Okay, so there's somebody that has a lot of love in their heart here, and I feel like this is a shared energy of love between the two of you but there's somebody in a situation that um, they're not over they're not overextending anymore is a thing here okay they're not overextending I'm feeling like there's definitely somebody that wants to make an apology here okay so what we have is Virgo um, Gemini Pisces Leo is strong here Sagittarius is strong here um, Aquarius and um, I feel maybe Cancer Scorpio is here as well alright guys so that is what I have for you guys and um, I will be speaking with you soon